Since the announcement of the Tomb Raider 1 to 3 Remaster Edition, social media has been ablaze, and Tomb Raider fans have not been the same since. But I have some theories about the new remaster and what we might and might not get. So here are 5 things I don't think we will be getting with the remasters. No FMV cutscenes. So. Back in the day, certain iconic cutscenes in video games were grainy, high poly, pre-rendered animations, usually in 4x3 aspect ratio, called FMV, Full Motion Video. These cutscenes were generally made in a different software from the original game, perhaps 3ds Max or Maya, pre-rendered into a video format and coded into the game to play at certain trigger points. For Tomb Raider, at the beginning or at the end of a spectacular level, they were like treats at the end of a very difficult ordeal. I'm gonna have to make a video discussing my favorite Tomb Raider FMVs, I think, because they were literally my favorite parts of the original games. So I do not see them remastering the original FMVs. Would they even have the original files in order to open the original data and re-render the cutscenes in an updated version of, say, 3DS Max? I don't think so. It's been 30 years, do you really think they have that old computer still hidden away in a tomb somewhere containing the old files from the original three games? Mm -mm. I would love it if they did, that would be incredible. And I highly doubt they would remake the cutscenes completely. With all new 3D models and new lighting, that could take forever for three games. It would take forever. I feel like they will be AI updated and upscaled or left out altogether. What do you think? So. You might be asking, why would they not have time to remake all the FMV cutscenes? That's because I think this remaster has only had a development time of under a year. I would say even under 9 months or even under 6 months of development. I don't see this having a big budget. They want it made in as little time as possible. And that's not a negative, that's just the way it is, it's business, I get it. Okay, you've got to remember that Embrace the Group only acquired Crystal Dynamics in August 2022. So Crystal Dynamics ha didn't have any connection with Aspire until August 2022. They are both owned by the same parent company. But the production of this game might have not happened until the beginning of this year. So it's less than a year of production. Okay, next. No face animations. Expect Bobblehead Lara and friends to return in the remastered edition. I just have a feeling face animations will not be added to the remaster. I would absolutely die if on February 14th we see Lara's face express in cutscenes, but I don't see it happening. There are three games to remaster. That's three games worth of cutscenes to animate. How big is the team working on this? I don't know. And if they were animated, imagine if in each cutscene it was just the same animation just looping. I would die in a bad way. <laughs> if my theory is correct and this development is under 9 months, then I can't see this being a possibility, unfortunately. Take the GTA remaster that we got recently, that was 3 games, and look how bad their faces were. Those games are exponentially bigger, how can we expect more? from this, unfortunately. Just a quick disclaimer for anyone that's watching this and thinks that I hate what we're gonna get. Whatever we get, I'm so excited for, don't get me wrong. Okay, next. Okay, now this one is going to hurt, but no physical releases. Ouch, but I think this is the case. With the current trend of digital taking over, I see the chance of a physical release of this collection being very small. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't seen any news of this so far. With the game already being available to pre-order on all platforms and lots of people pre-ordering the collection, I don't see big bosses bothering with a physical release. Even if it was just for a collector's edition, as the cost of production might not be worth it. It definitely feels like a digital only experience for the digital generation. Like is the Red Dead remaster digital only? One of The Last of Us remasters digital only? I, I'm not sure. It would probably follow that trend. I personally haven't bought a physical copy of anything since 2015. I can't be the only one, right? If fan outcry is high enough, this would absolutely change. There is enough time for that. Okay, next. Realistic shadows. <laughs> if you've seen the trailer, which you probably have, did you notice the strange, unrealistic shadows being cast around the place? Like here, Lara's shadow flies off into the trees rather than stay behind her. I know this is early footage and there are months of development ahead, so I'm sure this will be fixed. I'm just going off what we have seen so far. Okay, next. No new FX. 
text. Looking through the trailer, effects like these look the same as the original. I know there are certain models that have been rebuilt, of course the stunning Lara herself, this glorious Venice window and trees and such, but why haven't effects like these been replaced? Watching the trailer, this water splash effect took me out. <laughs> I was seeing a beautiful, higher poly Lara leap down to the high quality water below, but when she made contact, this effect jumps out. That looks like it belongs in the late 90s. Like I've said, this would change, but it's something that I was disappointed with, I'm not gonna lie. Do you think I'm just being too picky? <laughs> Either way, I am super excited for February 14th and what we get, whatever it is. This Lara looks like the most beautiful creation I have ever seen. I am totally in love. Okay, bye bye for now Raiders.